Howdy, folks, and welcome back to another Tech Tip with Ben. This week, we are going to be looking at free image generator. So I've kind of given you a couple, and I know some of the projects I've, I've talked about require generative AI to make images. The ones that I've been using kind of have been paid. So let's go through three new image generators that you can use completely free, okay? So the first one we're gonna look at is called Ideogram. Ideogram is a really neat uh, AI image generator. The fun thing about this one is it's quite good with words. So if you notice like Dolly and things has a hard time writing out words, but you can see like happy birthday written on this one here. It's able to actually write words better. It's not gonna be perfect because it's still AI and AI struggles with words, but this one does quite a good job. So for this, I'm, for the three, I'm just gonna use the same prompt on each one kind of a wacky weird one and see how they do with it and then we can kind of see where they're at so describe what we want to see imagine a whimsical tea party set on the moon where a group of friendly aliens of various shapes and colors are enjoying a tea and cakes around a large growing crystal table the aliens are dressed in victorian era attire complete with top hats corsets and monocles blending the charm of historical fashion with <laughs> with futuristic elements the background features a starry sky, the earth in the distance, and a banner that reads intergalactic tea time. The whole scene is to be depicted in a vibrant, exaggerated style of a 1950s science fiction comic book with bold colors and dynamic expressions capturing both the elegance of the air and the playful imagination of space adventure. All right. So you, once again, you can choose your layout here and whether or not you want it to be private or public. And we're going to use V2 because it's better. And we're just going to go one by one. And now we are going to generate. So like the other ones, it gives you four. All right, so already we're finished. It was actually quite fast. And we can inspect our work. So this one's kind of neat where they're almost teapots themselves. Okay. So it did a good job. I, I like this. It's kind of a cool style. A little weird, weird animations on them. I have to decide which one's my favorite. All right, we're gonna go with this one as the winner. So we're gonna download that one. Okay, okay. Up next, we move into Copilot. So Copilot uh, is put on by Microsoft, and Microsoft did a lot of investing in OpenAI, so they're able to use ChatGPT and Dolly models in their AI. So on the free version though, it uses Dolly 2, which isn't as good as Dolly 3, but you can generate as much as you want for free. And it does run a version of ChatGPT. So if you log in with an Outlook account, you can use it for free, unless you wanna pay 20 bucks a month to get the uh, accelerator like ChatGPT 4 and Dolly 3. One thing to note, even though our TCRCE emails are Outlook accounts, it will not work for this one. So you have to come up with a different one. So if you already have a Hotmail or an Outlook account, you're good. If not, you'd have to make up a new email. So let's throw in our prompt and see how it does. All right, and now we have it. So we can have a look at our images. Okay, so that's, that's pretty good. I like that. I think it's better than the Imogen one. All right, large crystals in the middle. So uh, these are great. Uh, this one kind of has a crystal table vibe. That one has crystals on the table. I think I'm gonna have to go with this one. All right, so that is our co-pilot demonstration. So you can use that as well. Now let's move into a really neat one uh, called Playground. Playground uh, allows you to generate images and it gives you a lot of control. It can kind of look overwhelming at first, but as you kind of work through it, you can figure it out. So what you have here is a giant canvas, okay? And you can just generate however many images you want across this canvas. And you can change around with quality and details, prompt guidance, uh, image dimensions, and then you can choose the model. So you can run it on Stable Diffusion or uh, Playground V2. Stable Diffusion is a really good model for generating images. 
So let's run it on stable diffusion. Um, you can choose some presets or create your own. You can upload an image as a reference image. You can apply filters to it. Um, so like animated, juggernaut, night vision. So some more stylistic kind of filters. You can write uh, things to exclude from your image. And yeah, so let's kind of hop in and see what it can do. So one thing I like about this is in this generation frame, you can actually make custom sizes. So you can move it around yourself to create different shapes or sizes of image. We're going to do the full 124 by 24. And below that, you're just going to paste in what you're doing here. So we just get rid of this, paste in our long prompt, and then we generate. Okay, so here is our little alien group. I don't think I like it as much as the other ones, but uh, this one's kind of cool because you can do other features within this. So you can do erasing. So say you don't like something, you can actually kind of erase that out. There's kind of how it erased it, not the greatest, but... Um, and it also has in painting. Um, so you can paint this and then you can change your prompt. Uh, green, scary, alien, head. And then you could replace it. So say you didn't like their faces, you could actually erase them or in paint over them and change it. So I like this one because it's customizable and you can really do a lot of changes with it and you can see over here <laughs> created like a little goblin looking fella all right so let's try the same prompt with stable uh with the playground v2 model and see how that does so all we do to generate a new picture within this is just move the frame so now i'm just going to try to uh generate a second image right beside it and now we can kind of look uh, at what it did. So there's our aliens with the scary in paint. These are alien bunny rabbits for some reason. But I would say that the Playground V2 model seemed to do a better job than the stability one. Let's do one more test across them. Let's just do a... Just a, a simple one, a photoreal boy holding a melting ice cream cone on a hot sunny day. All right, so let's see how well it does with the face and with the hands. So, I mean, you can see there that it did a very good job with the, uh, with the face and the ice cream. It's not really melting too much, but that's okay. Let's check out uh, the stable diffusion one just because. They're much, they, they did a good job with the, the like the photo reel kind of aspect. I feel like this one looks a little more real. Um, so let's check out how Copilot does with it. All right, uh, so it got a little weird on some of them. That's kind of an odd one. Um, that one's not so bad, that's pretty good. They got the dripping down, he looks pretty photo reel. Nice out of focus in the background. That one's also quite good. And that one is very, very weird. <laughs> But anyway, so um, lastly, let's go to ideogram. So most of it just focus on the ice cream itself. The hands look good. I mean, that one's missing a finger. <laughs> this one's not bad though. And they uh, kind of covered up his face, but that's, uh, that's pretty good. The hands look good. Kind of holding it a little low on the cone there. Um, but yeah. So like you can look here uh, in the top on ideogram some of the beautiful things people have made with it. Um, so like you can see that it's able to write text, which is really cool. All right, and like look, like look at this, like that's, a, that's quite a really well done image there. So if you have the right kind of time and the right prompts, you can really create something special. So anyway, that is three free AI tools that can help you generate images so thank you very much, and we'll catch you in the next one.